You're up. Good evening. My name is Juliet, and, I, and today I will talk about one of the most debated topics in America. Um, the U.S. is suffering from a uh, substantial increase in mass shootings. <coughs> Americans are bombarded with news um, seemingly every week about a shooter um, targeting and killing one in four people. Um, and these atrocities have sparked a debate on whether the U.S. should enact um, tougher gun control laws. The affirmative will be supporting the claim that the U.S. should enact an assault weapon ban, um, weapons act, um, based on Feinstein's bill model. We argue that current, the current policy enables civilians to purchase military-style weapons, and which are the most used in mass shootings. And Feinstein's bill will help prevent potential mass shooters from being able to purchase military-style weapons. And most civilians purchase a fire. A, a firearm for self-defense after mass shooting, which leads to an increase in violence. And fourth, Feinstein's bill um, will help it decrease the number of victims in mass shootings. And lastly, Feinstein's bill will help reduce the likelihood of another mass shooting. The state defines a mass shooting as um, targeting and killing of four or more people in the same location at the same, at the same time. Um, Feinstein's bill um, advanced the sale, um, transfer, manufacturing, and importation of semi-automatic weapons that can have that ha that can accept a detachable magazine and have at least one military feature, or a fixed magazine with a capacity to accept more than ten rounds uh, and high-capacity feeding devices like magazines. Um, um, bullet um, bullet weapons, also over 157 specific firearms, it, and it excludes hunting and sporting rifles. So going back to my first claim, current policy enables civilians to purchase military-style weapons and uh, assault weapons, which are the most commonly used in mass shootings. Most guns used in mass shootings were legally obtained according to a database, a database compiled by Mother Jones where 82% of the weapons have, were bought legally. And more than half of all mass shooters possess high capacity magazines. In the same report by Mother Jones magazine, among these legally obtained weapons, assault weapons, and semi-automatic handguns with high capacity mag magazines were common. If the failed assault weapons ban would, had been um, passed, the sale of 48 of these would have, uh, for civilian purposes, would have been illegal. Mass shootings are associated with states without law, um, associated with states without laws restricting large capacity magazines. An analysis conducted by Michael Siegel, a health science professor at Boston University, shows that states with, that restrict large, large capacity ammunition are associated with a 63% lower rate of mass shootings. Which leads to my second thing, that Feinstein's bill will help prevent potential mass shooters from being able to purchase military-style weapons. Most Americans believe owning a gun makes them feel safer. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Feinstein's bill will ban bump stock. Will ban bump stocks, which enables a weapon to fire at nearly the rate of a machine gun. Um, an article by the New York Times: uh, Bump stock is not banned under says that bump stock is not banned under federal law, even though it allows a weapon to fire at nearly the rate of a machine gun without technically converting it into a fully automatic weapon. It will ban firearms with um, thumb hole stocks and bullet buttons, which most shooters use to purchase military-style um, weapons. So, um, according to an article published by um, Bright Heart States, bullet buttons are a mechanism law-abiding Californians placed on their AR-15s to allow their rifle um, magazines to remain detachable, yet comply with the state's last assault weapons ban. So since you need a tool to take the magazine out, it was considered fixed. Therefore, um, it, it was legal. And 
Third claim is most civilians purchase a firearm for self-defense after a mass shooting, which leads to an increase in gun violence. Most civilians purchase a firearm after... Um, most Americans feel owning a gun makes them feel safer. A Rasmussen report national, uh, through a national telephone survey finds that 68% would um, of Americans would feel uh, felt safer where guns were allowed. Then, as, um, more people purchase a weapon after there is a mass shooting. A study published by um, Annals of Internal Medicine that the purchase of handguns in California alone increased 53% after the mass shooting in Newton. People who own a weapon for self-defense reason are less likely to prevent a crime. Um, in fact, out of zero of the 100 and 111 massacres analyzed by a research, the researcher Lewis Harris did an no armed civilian stopped a mass shooting in the progress. So, so far, nobody has ever stopped a mass shooting. Um, then, leading to the fourth claim, Feinstein's bill would decrease the number of victims in mass shootings. Um, Senator Feinstein said that bump stocks increased the rate of fire and firearms between 45 to 60 um, rounds per minute. So, it increases them to 400 to to 800 rounds per minute, which makes them the same as an automatic weapon. Uh, potential mass shooters will have will have to purchase less lethal weapons, which lower the number of potential um, victims. Um, an article by the New York Times, by the LA Times, although it says that although the ban might not reduce overall number in gun um, crimes by forcing offenders to substitute their weapons, you're essentially forcing them to use weapons that are less deadly. Then, lastly, Einstein's bill will help reduce the likelihood of another mass shooting. Banning assault weapons, okay, banning assault weapons has decreased the number of mass shooting in other countries. For example, Australia. Since uh, uh, the last mass shooting in 1994, which they did, they banned assault weapons, there has not been another mass shooting since. And lastly, um, stricter laws have prevented previous mass, um, mass shooters, would have prevented previous mass shooters from obtaining their guns. The Guardian analysis of 20 shootings in, with the most fatalities of 2015 found that nine of the 12 cases where information was available, tougher laws could have prevented killers from obtaining their guns. And that is all.